On this episode of Cape Bob RC, we take a look at the Creality Hallet Sky Resin Printer. That's right, it's K pop's foray into resin printing. Let's harden that stank. Tomato soup. We've all dreamed about being able to Star Trek replicate ourselves whatever the hell we wanted. There are 14 varieties of tomato soup available. From Limited this only by the bounds of our imagination. Coffee. Oh. Go. No. The future yeah. is here and it's tucked away in a medium-sized orange box that can pump out impressive injection molded quality awesomeness. What is that you ask? Yeah, that's Creality's Hallet line of resin 3D printers. But let's back that ass up a bit and start from the beginning. If you're new to K-Pop RC, welcome. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, man, subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification. I don't care, whatever you do, just uh, yeah, come and hang out with us. Hey, it's Bree Pettis of MakerBot Industries and we're doing the first ever MakerBot giveaway. You should know I've been kind of obsessed with 3D printers since the MakerBot cupcake days. Obviously, they sucked really hard back then. MakerBot, yeah! Quite literally pooping out frosting-like globs of plastic. So I held tight. I held tight for a time, you know? When all my replicator dreams would come true. Years went by. And finally, I thought it's probably time to slip on some serious ice and dip into the savings. After a drunken night of sipping whiskey, I pulled the trigger and bought my first FDM printer. But let's back it up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. FDM printing stands for Fused Deposition Printing. FDM? What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, it's basically a glue gun that spits out a thin layer of plastic along a plane. As it finishes one layer, it moves up and it starts the next, eventually assembling a three-dimensional model from the digital realm. The last 10 years, has been very fruitful for FDM printing. Lots of options, lots of price points, and Creality has made it extremely affordable to get your feet wet in 3D printing. The link is in the description, but- We're not here to talk about uh, FDM printing though, uh, are we? Yeah, we're not, we're not here to talk about FDM printing, no. No, we're not. We're talking about the future. This is the Creality Hallet Sky. I was about to call it a little beauty, but uh, she ain't that little. This monster, for the lack of a better word, is a technological beast of a printer, boasting a large build plate, superior stable Z-axis running on linear guide rails, a whole redesigned light source, and just incredibly superior build quality. This, this is the machine, man. This is the machine. We talked about FDM printers, so what's the deal with resin printers? The 3D printing technology is called SLA. SLA, 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 I think. SLA. It stands for stereolithography, and it can provide layer thicknesses of up to 0.01 millimeters of layer height. Let's print some shit. I'm freaking pumped, man. I'm freaking pumped. I'm freaking pumped. I'm so freaking pumped. Let's do it. Uh, super nervous. I got my file loaded into the Creality Hallet printer. This is gonna be the first print I've ever done. It's a fairly big print, which is kind of stupid to start on a fairly big print. God damn it. Uh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm just gonna jump into it. I don't know. I'm so nervous to hit start. How does it work? Well, this type of SLA printer uses a monochromatic LCD panel underneath the transparent FET plastic vat of resin. Um, the vat is full, like basically a whole jug like this is what fits into the vat there. There's a little bit left in the jug. Basically, a UV light is blocked by the LCD screen. That LCD screen only lets the UV light through for each layer. Essentially, it's a stencil. 
The build plate is lowered down onto the clear bottom of the vat, letting a very small amount of resin between the clear bottom and the build plate. I do. I did set up the layer height and the exposure on the Hallet um, for the Soraya Tech, you know, navy gray. The UV light is sent through the LCD stencil from the bottom and boom, it hardens where the UV light hits the build plate. This is repeated over and over again for every layer. Um, I have a funny feeling it's gonna fail, but uh, at least you guys will be along with the ride, the, on the ride with me towards failure. Hopefully it doesn't fail and hopefully I don't waste a whole bunch of resin and uh, hopefully it's not a big sticky mess in the end. Um, God damn it, man. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. I'm gonna hit start. There's only one real moving part to this whole setup, and that's the build plate moving up as each layer is hardened. The best part about this is that it doesn't matter how big the model is or how many models you have on the plate, it hardens each layer at the same exposure time. Not like FDM printing where it has to trace out each layer like a pen on paper. It's pretty freaking genius. Stinky, but genius. And it's printing at 0.01 millimeters per layer. Sweet, so it just finished printing. It stinks like crazy in here. Uh, this Soraya Tech resin is supposed to be low order, but it is just stunk up the whole house and Paul is pissed, so it's bad. Um, if you're gonna get a resin printer, just remember that this is not, it's like a, it's just, it's just like their chemicals you're using, so it does stink pretty badly, but what came out of this printer is pretty incredible, so let's check it out. Straight out of science fiction, a true replicator inspiring some serious awe. And what's the best freaking part? Well, it's the, it's the parts, man. It's the freaking parts. They are the cleanest, most perfect 3D prints I have ever seen. And all for an affordable price point. Creality has really outdone itself. This thing is a beast. There are a few things I should mention when resin printing. You're going to need a wash station. I picked up Creality's wash station and I filled it with almost two gallons of rubbing alcohol and not that cheap stuff either. It was 90% and up. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. On top of that, I also purchased a large silicone mat with a spill lip to go under both the printer and the wash station. Gloves. You'll need tons of gloves. You pick yourself up some nitrate glo disposable gloves. And also, you're going to run through a lot of paper towels. I'm also trying my hardest to figure out how to keep the fumes to a minimum. And the Sriatec resin is quite uh, stinky, goddammit. So there will be more videos about the resin printer. I need to figure out a bunch of things with it. The Wi-Fi app that links to your phone to give you up-to-date statuses of the printer. I need to figure out how to keep the fumes to a minimum, and that's a big one. I also need to try to print the Zero Flux Hilux cage in resin. That would be super sweet. All these things you should look forward to on K-Pop RC. So if you like supporting companies that support me or just want a sick ass 3D printer, visit creativityofficial.com. The link is in the description and pick yourself up one of their very capable 3D printers, whether it be from the resin printing Hallet line or the CR or Ender FDM lines, you just won't be disappointed. It actually showed up when I was in Whistler and it's been sitting uh, in my front foyer for a solid week while I was on vacation in Squamish, hanging out with um, Har, hanging out with Cardinal Racing. And uh, when I got back, I had this thing waiting for me and it was awesome to unbox it and see this massive scale. I thought, you know, honestly, I thought they were gonna send me a, the smaller printer, but this one showed up and uh, it's pretty massive. The print plate is huge. It is huge and I can't wait to just be printing larger resin prints.
which is nuts. But I have to admit, this is my first resin printer. Um, they sent this to me for me to review and I don't have really much to compare it to. So this particular video and also probably a bunch of other videos, um, there's gonna probably be a bunch of other videos that kind of, you know, document the process of me figuring out how to use this resin printer and how to, you know, get the resin to work for me work to my advantage. Color me impressed, color me freaking impressed. Good God, it is just otherworldly. It really is. This is like straight out of science fiction. It's like straight out of Star Trek in the 90s. <laughs>